must come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Okay, everybody, welcome. I'm Game Cell, and that was the sickest friggin' Wow, that intro was the hypest shit. Now, first things first, I've got to say this. This is an early access game. Which means it's not done yet. It's important I mention that. And I'll put it in the description as well. It is an early access game. So, it's not finished. Alright. That being said, it is on Steam. You can buy it. I just saw the Steam notification at the beginning. I bought it. It's awesome. The game is fucking mint. So that's my, that's my normal one, I couldn't be bothered like naming anything special, but let's do it. I'm going to call this, though, what this game is. Because that's what it is. It's just pure death, and you just die. Wow, why did you not... I'm supposed to press enter, dick. Anyway, so, let's get started. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Okay, so, 
game is officially started now. Now this is a bit of a different type game. Now it reminds me of uh, Dark Souls 2. When people say explain the game to me, I go Dark Souls 2D. Because that's what I think it is. It's basically Dark Souls 2D. So first of all I want to do something real quick. human mind. Terrible death waits. Alright, so I guys just have to fiddle with a few things. Right, okay, so this is our screen. We've got a torch up there, which is 100% right now. That will come into play a lot more importantly. Well, here's your mission. My two characters, uh, the, all this stuff I will explain, but these are your moves, which are kind of important, I will explain them in due course. This is your map, what you do is you click onto the room and then move across. You can use the, the keys or you can use the mouse, I'm going to be using the mouse. And here's your items, you got food in there, so yeah, anyway, so let's click this room. Brigands have run up these lanes, keep to the side path, the hamlet is just ahead. So I said you can use your WASD, but I just well, I might use it more actually, you know, just because less clicking. He's going a bit crazy. Okay, first foul. Thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. All right, so it's turn-based, and I reckon it is random, and like randomized who has your go or a go. So it's uh, Dismas first. It's a Howie man. He's got an open vein melee. Accuracy is 85, does uh, minus 15% damage, I think, and could make the character bleed out, you know, the enemy, bleed out for two points for three rounds. Uh, then we have a pistol shot, which we can't do because there's uh, like little red dots on the right where it says pistol shot. He has to be in the second, third, fourth row. He's not, he's in the first, so I can't do it. And that one will shoot the first three in the row, no matter what. But you can only be used from the second or third. It's really complicated, and that's take aim. So that's a buff. So we're gonna just go with the normal slice. And it tells you on the bottom if you got a chance of hitting the enemy. It's says 83% chance of hitting him, 5% for crit, and I might do from four to nine damage. He's got 15, so this hopefully should take off like three, maybe. Let's hope. Let's do it. A five. That was good. And he's bleeding out as well, so every turn he's going to take 2 points of damage. This is Reynald. He's a Crusader. He's got his Smite, normal move. His Accusation, which hits the first two. Stunning Blow, which will stun the guy. Or might stun the guy. It's 100% base, so I think it will definitely do it. And he'll lose a turn. Uh, I'm going to go for... I'm going to have to chance on him. Oh, he's stunned. Sweet. And it's our turn again. Alright, he's almost dead. Just take one more move. Oh, he's dead. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. And we got 100 gold for doing it, so that's cool. So let's continue on. Oh, what's this? While exploring, you may find interactive objects. Click or W. I'm going to W. So we're going to check this tent. There we go. You also take it. nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Oh god, I love the narrator. Guy's got hype sound. Alright, so we've got a bit of a boss here. Oh, I'm being surprised as well, so it's shuffled my move. No Alright, so he's got 35, so and he's got 12. We want to get rid of him first. Actually, I want to move back. Actually, that takes up a turn, swapping where you're going. Oh, two damage. Oh, and I got bleed. Not good. Not good. I'm gonna try and stun him. Yeah, he's stunned. Good. Oh, sweet. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. He's been buffed though. Come on, man. Keep it together. So we're gonna do great shot now because I want to hit him both. There we go. And it's my turn again. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do this instead this time because this is a double hit. And then I'm gonna concentrate on the guy at the back. Oh no, I didn't hit that guy there. Okay. Uh, 
know how to do this. Oh, guy's taking some damage in. I'm actually just gonna shoot this guy. Okay, I need this guy dead. I'm gonna try and stun him again. Yep, beautiful. He misses a go. Okay, I'm, get, I'm taking some damage here. He is specially taking damage. Yep. Surges Sweet. Enemy crumbles. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Let's just get some attacks in this guy now, man. This is round five. Let's get in there. Yeah, we got bleed. Yeah, all right. I could do this. As long as I don't get another crit, I should be fine. Yeah! A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Take all of it. A mission complete. So what's up with this? Something doesn't quite look right with this one. So we've got to leave it. Because it's probably a trap. I'm just going to click here to exit dungeon. Did the first one, guys. First little section done. And that was cool. I like that. Okay, so this is like dice rolls here. It's like uh, you you get this for doing it, which is cool. And this is our uh, apprentice levels. Just right now we're on to you know two. We get to eight, and it will level up. Same with him as well. So this is uh, let's just click it and just see. Thick blooded, cool. Okay, so it's like status. Now you can get good ones and you can get bad ones. I'll explain bad and good later on. Oh, and I got ranged 10% damage. Perfect. That's really good. That was a good roll. For the first one, that's, that was pretty fucking good. Welcome home. Alright, so we've got like a basically the weeks and you know how now. things are doing. The more weeks you get, the more you unlock. These are your, like your main quest goal, the game's goals. Uh, it's just, yeah, just the usuals. Um, and that's it, so we close this down. We've got all these places here. Um, we can press H for help. So it just tells you shit. It's pretty cool. Right, so we've got a graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. God, it's so good. So yeah, every time you, your heroes get killed, because everyone can die a permanent death, um, they get put in there. And they're just freaking out. So stage coach super important. Stage coach is where we recruit new enemies. Fools and corpses. Not enemies, uh their way to us now that the road is clear. Hero, are you done? Right. Is heroes. So basically your players. Your characters, okay. So obviously, I can only hold nine right now. Laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield. I can't hold. I wish I stop talking. I can't hold nine now, and you can only take four on you with a mission. So obviously, if he dies, I need to come here and recruit someone else into the team. So on and so forth. But right now, I'm just going to increase this. I'm not going to Heroes there. can be found even here, in the mud and rain. So these places you need to continue with the game before you can do shit. So I'm quickly going to just go through uh, this bullshit. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm just going to talk through it. So we've got our buttons up here. We can change the name of the hero. We can dismiss him, which we're not going to do, obviously. And this is quirks. So we've got good ones and bad ones. So good one is warrior of light. When light is 75% and bigger, he does 10% damage, uh, extra damage, and it blight resist is 10% extra which is blight there so it was 40 now it's 50 he likes to steal items apparently and in town we'll only pray for stress release that will come into action later base stats and the equipment so you can put him in any position you want it's just some of these moves can only work in certain positions so you have to be in third or fourth slot for that moves to work, same with that one, same with that one, so yeah. If you put him in the first one, you won't be able to use any moves. He needs to be in the first two. And these, them two, uh, that one there is the first two people in the line. That's the first two people, that's the first two people. Th that's 
a, like a link move. So uh, there's entourage. Uh, stand to all these camping skills, not camping yet, and then that, and then that, yep. And prefer targets the first two. This guy is a ranged person, so he's in the middle, so it's the same again. It's just, yep. And their camping skills. Alright, so hard noggin, plus 15 stun resist, that's good. Uh, two speed, range damage up, that's just, just got. Not allowed to gamble when he's in town because he's a, he's a cheater. Uh, what have you got? Noxious Blast, Pulse Grenades, 10% damage, so that's a buff. That's pretty fucking good. Again, he likes to be in the last two, this guy. He can be there, that's a bad one, but yeah. And preferred targets are then free. Monster Type Human, 15 damage, 15 stress resist, that's good. 15 damage, oh, that's really, so that's 30. Oh, Beast, no, that's Beast, that's Humans, so that's alright. Obsessed with cleanliness, obsessed with self worship, alright, so. Thinks very highly of himself. Nice twenty percent upgrade. That's shit. I don't like that. Uh, minus in dungeon ruins, he does. She doesn't like it. Uh, she's got a melee. We put torch up by five. That's pretty good. She could be put anywhere. Looks like uh, them two can only be used in the first two. That could be used in the third and fourth slot. That could be used in the first two slots. So that's kind of shitty. Uh, healing Grace. She's got to use in the last two. And that's the first. So we'll have to put her in the back. Because she's got a healing move. Which is very important. So she could be put in all four though. She's not got preference really. Uh, piss off. Reynold. Thank you. So that's the characters there. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it here. Um, it's just like a kind of. Here's a story. First level. This. I might just leave it at that. Uh, maybe do one more dungeon or show off another dungeon. Um, comment below, tell me what you think. Tell me if you want to see more, I'll do more. I'll probably do one more video uh, just to show off like the dungeon and everything else. And then I might just leave it at that. Depends on what you guys want to see. But yeah, until next time, keep on gaming.